You're, you've been doing a lot. You've been very involved in the industry, in the blockchain space, since a super successful career before that. We'll jump into that a little bit in the evolution of the internet. But what have you seen since 2013? We've seen some highs, we've seen some lows. People aren't all that excited now. Where do you see the space? So I think what we're seeing is just is just uh, hyper tokenization. Um, you know, I think most people's interest is is in in sort of the the public discourse is around price movement, and I, I think that's interesting. Obviously, I hold some of this stuff. I want it to go up, and uh, I, I think tokens going up funds a lot of cool innovation and, and projects. But I think that. Um, you know what, I, th I think when I first started, there was this talk about this being a new asset class. And, um, I, you know, I think where we sit today, I don't, I'm seeing less and less people talk about that. I, I personally don't think it's a new asset class. Like the asset classes are like debt, money, equity, you know, and all, all these things, uh, there's probably another thing I'm not thinking about, but like all these things, you know, can be tokenized. Um, so just because, sort of value is taking another form that makes it very liquid and has all these other really cool properties. Doesn't mean it's a new asset class. I don't, I, again, I don't think it's a new asset class. Um, but, but I'm, I, I think with price movement being what it is, I, I think I see just a lot of people building. Um, I'm seeing this flight of talent leave Silicon Valley and leave traditional startups and go to the crypto space. You don't have to look very far to see just incredible, engineers and entrepreneurs and product people leaving like vertical SaaS businesses and uh, becoming attracted to the space. Um, I think we're seeing for the very first time open blockchains that uh, anyone can analyze. Like it's, it's almost impossible to get a, you know, a transaction history of USD, right? But these public blockchains can be mined and um, all kinds of really interesting data can be pulled from them. And that's, that's really cool. But, I, you know, I think at the end of the day, it's, it's, it, the, the story is really about hyper tokenization. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're seeing real estate being tokenized. We're seeing securities being tokenized. We're seeing funds being tokenized. We're seeing, um, uh, you know, we're, we're seeing equity being tokenized. We're seeing tokenized debt on things like Dharma. We're seeing, uh, you know, t tokenized uh commodities, whether they're like sort of physical instantiations of commodities or commodities like computing power that's being tokenized. And I, I think that uh, liquidity just always finds a way to win. And uh, so, so I, I think probably the headline really is around uh, hyper tokenization and, um, you know, maybe market caps have leveled off, but the rate at which new things are being tokenized continues to to increase you know there's uh, like whether it's derivatives debt whatever like this is this is happening and it's here to stay or How we're not going backwards at least 